So I'm, this is my first time taking the real cod liver oil. So I'm gonna, oh God, it's like honey. I don't know how I'm gonna drink this if it's like honey like this. And then I'm gonna put some kombucha in it. Oh no. Oh shit. Okay, let's see. Where's my kombucha? It's right there on the... No. Nope. Literally, I took it out for you. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna... Are we supposed to like roll this slowly? All the... the like. Sh this is probably gonna be disgusting, you guys. Alright, let's see how long it takes me to get this shit open. So this is... Now off. Interesting. Fail number one. <laughs> Shit. How do you do yours and it doesn't get all jacked up? I don't know. Not Fuck. special. <laughs> oh, motherfucker. Don't put it on the counter. Shit. What if I have to use yours? Is yours good or no? That's okay. Because I fucked right this there. up. Okay, so... How am I... Is it gonna... Oh, look at how yummy. It separates. Well, stir it with your finger. No. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. I'm getting it everywhere. Is it, like, gonna... It should just separate, right? Because water and oil are not... They're, like, polar things. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so horrible. Do it. All I taste is the kombucha, but did I get any of the oil? I got some of it. I feel like I really got, it's all in there. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you need a... <coughs> Nala, our dog, is being an asshole. <coughs> hey, what are you doing? Yeah, you're being mean? Maybe I'll scrape the Neighbor's trying to clean her car outside and you're being mean? Yeah? Maybe if I... I'm gonna try to take the rest of it. I actually didn't taste anything. I so... need to do something with the food over there. Okay, well... It's actually not bad at all. Okay, I did it. Take some cod liver oil, mom. It tastes like fishes. Yeah, finish that up. Is that good? Say, I'm following Weston A. Price. Uh, taking my cod liver oil. Is it good, buddy? Do you like it? Is that yummy? <laughs> this is today's breakfast. We have all the meats. We have scrambled. Oh, I forgot the cheese. Mm. I want cheese. So Matt's gonna get me cheese. <laughs> so we have uh, Vital Farms scrambled eggs. And you left the fridge open. Oh shit. Jesus, woman. I'm having issues. Um, so we have scrambled Vital Pasture eggs. So we do two full eggs and two egg yolks egg yolks sprinkled with some organic pastures raw cheddar and then we have our DIY beef breakfast sausage um, the beef is from it's the beef and bacon grind from Southern Craft Butcher in the future we will DIY this with pork it feels like you're eating a hamburger for breakfast we just had beef that we needed to use and then we needed meat for breakfast the other day. And then we have uh, Southern Craft Butcher bacon from Hog Honey Farms. And then we have our little sweet potato patties that we learned we've been keeping our stove top too hot and that's why we burned those ones. But they're actually pretty good. It's like mashed sweet potatoes, sour cream, milk, flour, scallions, and some other things I can't remember. And then I have some kombucha. So this is our breakfast. There's Naughty Nala. It is grocery shopping day. It is Thursday. We are ready. I have, can't even see it. I have my fashion fanny pack. And Matt has our cooler and all our bags. This is gonna be an epic grocery day. 
We got our meat yesterday, but then we decided that we're sick of going to the grocery store multiple times a week because our grocery places are like a bunch of different locations like North and South Raleigh. So now we decided yesterday we're going to try to go back to getting one week's worth of groceries so we have to go less often. Obviously if we have to pick thing, a little thing up that's fine. But So yesterday we thought we were grocery shopping. We ended up only getting our meat. And then today we decided to plan everything out for the whole week till next Thursday. And so when we got our meat yesterday, we had him vacuum seal, vacuum seal some of it so that we could um, freeze it so it'll last longer. And we have like a bunch of places to go. So we're going up to Durham to go to the Good Target. Literally, we're going 30 minutes away so we can get Matt some Meow Meow Tweet <laughs> natural deodorant. So we used, we found it, Meow Meow Tweet at Target in Durham. That was probably like a month ago now. Yeah. And like I liked it at first. And then it stopped working. And that's because you're smelly. I'm smelly. But it's it was working for Matt. So I got my Ethique or Ethique ones. Uh, they sent me that. So I had used it before in the sampler. So I'm going to keep using the Ethique one. But we have to go to the Durham Target because they are the only ones that have a really good natural beauty section so he can get his Meow Meow Tweet baking soda free deodorant and then we're gonna go to La Farm Bakery and Carrie to get some really good sourdough and then we're going after that then we're going south I think to the farmers market yep. yeah so you're gonna go on an adventure with us our grocery shopping it's 11 it's 10 to 11 now so we'll see how long this takes but this is gonna be some epic grocery shopping okay we're at Super Target in Durham legit this is a Super Target it is a pretty big target. They have a lot of awesome things like Matt's Meow Meow Tweet deodorant. <laughs> and we have our reusable bag that Matt looks so cute holding. I'll hold it. It's from Lush. Okay, so we're going to get deodorant, paper towels. Okay, I don't know what has happened to Target, but it looks like it just threw up the 1990s. So this is Claire from Clueless. We have acid, acid wash jeans, like 90s grunge and floral. This looks like Gwen Stefani, like no doubt. That reminds me of when I was in high school and wore oversized flannels and baggy jeans and smoked Newport hundreds. Then you can't forget about pleather. We have more plaid and lace. This is more of the Gwen Stefani collection. <laughs> Here's the MC Hammer 2 Legit to Quit collection. Um, what do we have over here? Your dad's windbreaker from 1980. I think my dad had this windbreaker. They must have went to Keith's garage. So yeah, um, I clearly need to up my fashion game. Yes! Look at all the awesome 1990s Target clothing. This is epic. Oh, but this reminds me of when I was in kindergarten. I think I had this skirt. So good job, Target. Making adult women feel like they are 16 again. Our Target run is done. We got our Meow Meow Tweet deodorant for Matt. <laughs> and uh, it actually was cheaper. It was $14. Of 18. 18 on Amazon so that was you know worth a 30 minute drive and we got paper towels and we got tabs for our inventory for the stickers and we got to stand in the self checkout line where this little boy cried about glitter it's awesome. it was pretty awesome um, and this mom was making this person at self checkout price check everything so it's kind of annoying okay so now we're going to La Farm bakery to get some bread and probably a white chocolate baguette just saying <laughs> so we were on our way to La Farm. La Farm bakery in Cary I think we're in Cary now yeah. and I just spotted what seems to be the most epically huge Hobby Lobby I've ever seen in my whole life <laughs> <laughs> so we've got to go see what this is about I'm gonna I'm gonna show you as we drive in it looks like it used to be almost like a, like it, a gander mountain yeah it looks like a like outdoor place I'll show you we are approaching what looks like a ginormous Hobby Lobby. Can you, I can't even, 
Look at how, okay, you can't see it because there's trees, but it's coming. Wait for it, wait for it. Do you see this? It looks like, I've never seen a Hobby Lobby that looked like this before. We have to go investigate. Okay, so it's kind of like a normal Hobby Lobby on the inside. You can look around for a minute. Christmas shit, August 2nd in Hobby Lobby. What a match is fine. Oh, that is cute. Awesome. We're at the farm to get bread and our baguettes. Got our bread from La Farm. La Farm Bakery. I love this place because it's French. And I love all the French things. So we got our sourdough, we got a quarter loaf this time, because we got a half loaf last time, and we ended up throwing away like, probably like four or so pieces, four or five. They don't eat a ton of bread, so we didn't want it to go to waste. And we had our white chocolate baguette, which was really good, right? Mm -hmm. really, I just realized what shirt you have on. Yeah. The old gym shirt, throwback, thir oh, it's throwback Thursday. Okay, now we're heading to the farmer's market. It is farmer's market time. We have a long list of things to get today. So, here we go. Whew, farmer's market done. It is a hot North Carolina day today. It only says 87, but I think it's because it's so humid. It's really hot. So we got a lot of stuff at the farmer's market today because we're trying to grocery shop again once a week. So we try to get a bunch of things. Hopefully they all last and we make them all and this person's not outside. even watching. Why every time do we go grocery shopping people try to hit our cool car? Um, so yeah, now we have to go to Capital Seafood to get our fish and then we have to go to Trader Joe's. Slowly but surely we are almost done with this uh, grocery shopping errand adventure. <laughs> We got our seafood at Capital Seafood and got to see a hilarious interaction of some dude being mad that some lady hit him and there's barely a scratch on the car. So people are pretty funny. Now we need to go to Trader Joe's. We've been to Trader Joe's in a really long time. Uh, we just have to get a few things like garlic infused olive oil and some things that are like not really seasonal so we know a regular grocery store will have them. And then I think we can finally go home after that and unpack all the foods. And it's been, well, not even two hours yet. It's 1.39, we started at 11.51. So we're doing pretty good. Yeah. Whoa. All right, we're leaving Trader Joe's and heading home finally. We got almost everything. For some reason, Trader Joe's did not have garlic infused olive oil. So at some point we're going to go on a hunt for that. I know some places sell it online, but it's way more expensive than Trader Joe's. Um, and I think that's it. So now we need to go home and unpack all of our groceries. And I guess probably get ready to eat lunch. So it's 2 o'clock. So this took us about 2 hours, which isn't too bad. Because mm -hmm. we sat down at the farm and ate our baguettes. So... Even with that, it didn't take us too, too long. So now, literally home is across the street here. I mean, we live across from Trader Joe's, but we don't even come here. So yeah, off to go unpack groceries. Hi guys, mommy and daddy are home. Oh, say hi, say hi, hi people. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. oh, say hi, say mommy tried to kill me. Okay, so we are home and it's time to do our grocery haul. So, we have all the things. So at Target, we got, wow, we got paper towels. Isn't that exciting, you guys? So exciting. So we don't use a lot of paper towels anymore because we now use dish mop, no, bar mop dish cloths. So we sometimes need it for like bacon and a few things. Then we got rubbing alcohol so I can mix this with vinegar or something to clean the floor. Gonna try a DIY floor cleaner. These are for our inventory for the print shop. This is Matt's meow meow tweet. 
deodorant. I like the color Bark Bark Chirp. So it's baking soda free deodorant. He really likes it. And he likes grapefruit, so his armpits smell like his favorite fruit. Okay, then at Trader Joe's, we got a little sweet treat. These things are so good. Toasted sesame caramels. These are a good treat to have once in a while. We got sweet cherries because those clearly aren't something either that's grown in North Carolina or in season right now. And it's for this pork recipe thing we're making, the soodles. This is what we use for our salsa, um, the fire roasted and the diced tomatoes from Trader Joe's because they don't have garlic or onion in them. And then we got some, on or these aren't onions, <laughs> they're lemons. We got lemons and we got soy sauce and then we got the organic unsalted tortilla chips. These still aren't amazing for you because they do have vegetable oil, which is not good for you at all. But we need to find, does anybody know a better tortilla chip that doesn't have vegetable oil in it. We need to find one. Okay, so then we have La Farm. We got our, we just got a quarter loaf so that it wouldn't go bad. And we also got a chocolate chip cookie. We're all about the treat life clearly this week. Okay, what's in the white things? Oh, the seafood. So we have cod, salmon, and tilapia. Yeah. Okay, and then farmer's market. I'm gonna have to wait for Matt to come back in here because I'm gonna need help because there's so much stuff. So we got a beet so we can make beet fries. We are not making beet cavas or cavas again because it tastes like a salt, like it makes you want to puke. Um, this red cabbage is for our cabbage slaw. Probably could ferment that too. That's the leek, isn't it cool looking? Doggies, do you want to see it? Don't eat it though, you'll probably die. Um, and then we got zucchinis, okay. We got a regular zucchini, and I think this is called like a tiger or something, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna spiralize these with what I'll show you we got next. And then we got just a shit ton of tomatoes. So we're like obsessed with tomatoes and they're super in season right now. So we've been eating hashtag all the tomatoes. And then these are all the okras, no. Oh, we even got red shishito. So we're gonna blister these and probably put them with like goat cheese or something. Um, over there is a romaine lettuce. Those are all, those look good. Mm -hmm. They're a good size red potatoes. We got a bunch of carrots. So these are our bags we use. These are the Purify You Reusable Produce Bags. Look at all the carrots. We're gonna make carrot fries and beet fries with that stuff. Um, what's in that one? This one's got multiple things. Cucumbers. We got a cucumber. Cucumber, we actually had to make sure those were cucumbers. <laughs> couple sweet potatoes. We have to go very low on the quantity of sweet potato we eat or we'll get really bloated and gassy. Oh, look at all the cool little baby. Look at me. That's like a variety. I'm going to eat one. Oh, shit. Um, mm -mm -mm. And then okra. Mm -hmm. And then okra. And that's our basil from the other day. It's so good. Yeah. All the okras. Matt doesn't love it, but I like it. It has like a nutty flavor. Uh, that's all we got. I don't know how much money we spent on the produce. Do you remember? Nope. We don't know. And the spiralizer. Oh, yeah. Let me show you the spiralizer. So we got home. And this was on our, on our, at our doorstep. So we bought a spiralizer so that we can spiralize some imixoodles, carrots, spiralized beets. We're just going to spiralize and slice the shit out of things. Hey, okay. we're going to unbox our KitchenAid spiralizer with peel core and slice you excited to see what's in there buddy are you gonna help me oh sure Matt needs to help me so we got this on Amazon it was like $75 I think um but it's like 90 something dollars on Bed Bath & Beyond we go okay we're gonna go over here do, 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 do. this side better light okay so open it up so pretty the stuff comes so nice. Okay, look at it, it's so hardcore. So pick it up. So that's the massive attachment. It looks like a torture device. You wanna see it, buddy? Champion likes to investigate anything that comes out of a box or bag. Is it safe? Okay, good. So there's that piece, and then those are the little attachments that change the, I guess, the spiralizing effect. Yeah, so that's slice. Slice, noodle, 
noodle? You just call it That's noodle. like thinner noodle. You know, <laughs> slice, something. slice, noodle, and thinner noodle. Basically. And then, what's what's that? That's Maybe another part. Core? Oh, peel. Peel. Okay, that's the peel. And then that looks like another weapon. That's probably what you stick it on. Oh, yeah. That's probably, yeah, exactly. So that's it. Isn't that exciting, everybody? It is pretty hardcore. So that's probably what you stick the thing on. Well, we'll have to like film more when we actually spiralize something. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool.